everybody, my name is Mark Hill. This is Marks in the Grill. And what I did in my smoker behind me here is I did a really cool little side dish that I want to share with you guys. We're going to put the recipe up for this, all right? But let me just walk you through uh, kind of how we did this. It's a smoked cabbage. Oh, it's so good. Take a big old head of cabbage and then carefully cut that core out. So take a knife and cut around there. Uh, with lettuce, it's easy. You just slam it and it pops out. Come on over, let's stir while we chat. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take about three or four slices of bacon and you're going to cook those up really well. Set them off to the side and you're going to crumble them up. All right, just crumble them up, set them off to the side. And then out of that bacon fat that's in that pan, what you want to do is you want to hold on to about two tablespoons of that and you're going to put in one whole medium diced onion for about five minutes till it starts to get translucent. And then you're gonna pop the, the uh, bacon back in, all right? Now to the bacon and the onions, you're gonna add about a half a cup of your favorite barbecue sauce. And this is all happening in like just a regular old skillet. I always like cast iron. And once that happens, you guys, you mix up that barbecue sauce with the sauteed onions and the bacon crumbles. Take that and pour it in to the cavity that you made taking the core out of that cabbage. See what I'm saying there? You take that core out, there's a big hole, you fill it up with the onions, the bacon, and the barbecue sauce, okay? So now you're gonna put that in the smoker for about, I would say, two hours at 225. And at the end of two hours, oh, by the way, come on over here, I'll show you what's going on in the smoker. At the end of two hours, and by the way, baste it with uh, barbecue sauce maybe every 30 minutes. You're gonna go ahead, you're gonna take some tin foil, and you're gonna make a little round base so it's got somewhere to sit. And then after you've had it in there for a couple hours, in the oven, crank it up to 350. We got it out here at 320. You're gonna wrap from the bottom up in some nice heavy duty uh, uh, tin foil, okay? And then in the top there where you've got that mixture, you're gonna take about a half a cup of chicken broth and two tablespoons of butter mixed up and pour that inside and close it up. And that's where we're at now. And it's been in there for an additional, I would say, about two hours, it might go up to four if you got a big old head of cabbage in there. But I got a feeling, I got a feeling that this one is ready. So I'm repurposing an old uh, uh, thing that we use to bake some pork in. And here we go. Oh, ho, 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 ho. you want to talk about a fantastic side dish. Here we go. Bacon, onions, barbecue sauce, just like that, all smoked up and nice. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, look at that, Trish! Isn't that nice? So here's what I'm gonna do. Carefully, carefully. This, this is where, this is where, da this is what Daisy lives for. This kind of stunch, because she knows, you know, it can, it can hit the ground. So there we go. We got all of our everything in there: the butter and the, uh, the, the uh, chicken broth. I mean, it's all happening. And I've got my shears here, my kitchen shears. We're just gonna go ahead and just start. Oh, it's nice and soft, nice and perfect. This is such a great side dish, you guys. And we've got a nice hot coleslaw with bacon, onions, barbecue sauce. What do you think? Pretty tasty? You got one there? All right, I gotta get one here. All right, let's try this. Try this bad boy. Mmm. 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 That is so good. Oh my gosh, that's good. All right, so let's set that over here for now. Beautiful. You can serve that hot, you can serve it cold. It's entirely up to you. Try that smoked cabbage. That's so good. Don't forget to load it up with onion and bacon. My name's Mark Gill. This is Marks on the Grill.